Hello, this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. We're going to talk about being rooted in Christ. These are big, giant roots to this tree. Do you know what the job of roots are? Roots have a very important job. They actually have two important jobs. The first one is to hold the plant in place, in the dirt. Kind of like an anchor does for a boat. The anchor helps hold the boat in one spot. Well, the roots to a tree or any other type of plant hold the plant in place. It anchors it. And the deeper the root is, the stronger it will be able to withstand winds and storms that may come to threaten to knock it over. Well, just like roots help anchor the plant into the dirt and the soil, God wants us to be anchored in Him. We have to first make sure that we are planted in Christ. That means that you know that you are truly saved. You have confessed your sins and you've asked Jesus to come into your heart. You've planted deep roots with Christ. The second job of roots is to draw nourishment that the plant needs to survive. Down in the soil, there's nutrients that the plant needs. It's its food to help it to grow and stay healthy and strong. It also draws in water when it's thirsty. Roots draw nourishment from the soil that it's planted in. So if it's planted in good soil, then the plant can be healthy and strong. But if it's planted and rooted in bad soil and where there's not a lot of water, then it might not be very healthy and not be able to stand against wind and storms that may come because it's not getting good nutrients. Well, that's very important for our spiritual lives too. God wants us to be drawing nourishment from Christ and making sure that we're getting the right kind of nutrients, the right godly nutrients. And how do we do that? Well, we read our Bible, we pray, ask for God's help, and we can go to church to learn more about God, be around the right kind of godly friends, the kind of friends that make good choices. The Bible says in Colossians chapter two, starting with verse six, it says, therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. Then in chapter three of Colossians, it talks about how we can do that. It says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. So God wants us to keep our minds fixed on Christ, on godly things, things that he will approve of and that please him and make him happy. That's how we can stay rooted in Christ. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you died on the cross for our sins and that you forgive us. Help us to stay rooted in you. And may we glorify you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.